So Dana White last night announced big uh, bangers, um, bangers last night for these upcoming June pay per view cards. He announced Islam Makashev versus Dustin Poirier for this card, June first, UFC three hundred two, and he also had um, announced Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa for the co main event, and you know Mystic Mac is back. Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler finally announced for the uh, June 29th card, UFC 303. I'm going to break all of these down. I'm going to break all of these down in today's MMA News reaction video. I could have recorded this last night, but I need to have a fresh mind to break this down. And I got sleep. Let's go. Let's start with Makashev Poirier. Big fight in the lightweight division. Does it make sense? No. It doesn't really make that much sense, but they needed a pay-per-view card. I think they should have just waited till, like, Monday to see what would have happened at UFC UFC 300. Armin Sarukian beat Charles Oliveira. I'm sure he would have... I'm sure he would have took in... I'm sure he would have taken the Makashev fight, but I feel like he will get the winner of this fight, which is very, very likely to be Islam Makashev. Um, but I don't know why they're giving Poirier a title shot for beating Benoit Saint Denis. Like Poirier, realistically, in another world, would have to get two more wins, one at best maybe. But he's get he fought Benoit Saint Denis, took the risk, and he's getting rewarded a title shot. Don't get it. Um, Makashev's going to beat him easily. Like I don't think Poirier will win this. Maybe he can do well on the feet and do better than Volk. But if Volk can't really do much on the feet, it'll be their first fight Volk won, in my opinion. But still, the rematch couldn't do much on the feet. I just don't think Poirier's going to be able to do much here. Like... I just don't think Poirier's going to be able to do much here, man. I don't think he's going to do much. I think he's going to lose. Um, I think he's just going to get ragdolled by Makashev, unfortunately. I like Dustin Poirier. It'd be funny to see him win. Um, it'd be kind of terrible because Gaethje just got KO'd and Gaethje KO'd Poirier. So it would be bad. But it would be funny, and it would be good for Dustin Poirier finally achieving a world title, but I don't see it. I think Max is going to get an easy win here. I just don't think Poirier's got this in the bag. Um, but good for Makashev, though. He needed a fight in June. Maybe he just, because his last fight was October, so he just needed to get a fight in before October came around again. And that was it. Uh, I'm going to go Makashev. Benoit took down Poirier. It's just I think this was a I think this is just a terrible fight for Dustin Poirier, and I just don't see him winning this fight. Um, I just think it's a terrible fight for him. I think it's just a terrible fight. Like he doesn't like takedowns. Makachev will shoot for takedowns. Oliveira got him down. You know, Benoit got him down. Dominated the first round. Like it took Poirier forever to finally KO him. You know, and he eventually did KO him. So, I'm going to go Makashev. Getting it done. Second or third round Rene could choke. I can see another Rene could choke coming just for the memes of it. And I think Makashev going to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to go Islam Makashev by Rene could choke. Or Von Flew choke. Or any of these, like, like an arm triangle I can see. You know, so I can see one of these happening. I'm going to go Islam Makashev, though, getting this one done. And good for Makashev. He's staying active. Maybe he can fight Armin Saruki later this year in October in Abu Dhabi. Don't mind it. Let's do that. Makashev versus Armin later this year in Abu Dhabi. That makes all the sense in the world. And I think Max Holloway. I just don't think... I just don't see them doing Max Islam. It makes no sense to do that. Don't. Don't do that. Like, it'd be a fun fight, but don't do that. Do Ma do let Max sit out for a bit. Enjoy his life. While well, Armin Sarukin faces Makashev after this. And if Poirier wins, you already know they're going to try to do Poirier-Makashev too. 
That's the sad part. But yeah, I'm going to go Makashev. We move on. Great main event, by the way. Great main event. Big name. We move on. Co-main event. Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa. I don't know why I like this. Okay. Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa. Big matchup in the middleweight division. Yeah. This you, what? Just a facial drink of Sizzy, man. I don't know what the delay is in that. Um, maybe they're waiting for the fight to get closer for them to announce it because it is till April. After all, so maybe they're waiting till like May, late May, early June to announce that for August. Um, but this is a good fight. Sean Strickland versus Paulo Costa. Suck Strickland never got his rematch against Strickus, but we get Strickus Izzy a massive fight there as well. I'll break that one down when that's official, but still, this is a big fight. Sean Strickland, Paulo Costa. Yeah, Strickland a few days ago, he said, like, he had negotiation issues uh, issues with the UFC. And so they upped, it, it, it upped his, rate, his pay. So he took this fight now against Paulo Costa. I think Paulo Costa has a decent chance. Decent chance. I'm not going to pick him. I'm going to obviously go Sean Strickland here. Getting this one done. I think it's you're kind of dumb if you think Paul Acosta is going to KO him. Because I just don't see it. I don't think Strickland's going to get KO'd by head kicks. A wheel kick could come around. You never know. But I think Strickland will see this shit coming. I think Strickland will see this shit coming. But acosta has got a decent chance with the kicks. And it pushed Strickland backwards. I just don't like the... I don't like... Uh, the Whitaker fight, he looked good. But Whitaker, I don't think, looked good in that fight. I think Costa looked good and Whitaker looked bad. If I'm being honest with you. Like, I think Whitaker looked really bad. With the jabs, left himself so open. I think Jemayev's going to beat him, to be honest with you, by, by, uh, by KO. If I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah, but Strickland... The straight shots will work here. The one twos will work here. I just think the jab's gonna be so pissed in. And I think Strickland's gonna batter Costa in the later rounds. Really badly hurt him. Get a few 10 8 rounds. But I think early on, Costa's gonna be f- good. Yeah, Costa's gonna be in there. I don't think Costa's gonna KO him. If Kenya couldn't KO him, Izzy couldn't KO him, Drickus couldn't KO him, only Pereira could. Like, I just don't think Costa's going to be the guy to do it. Um, the kicks could work, and that wheel kick could work. Because Elizio Zaleski Dos Santos, I know this is back in the day and a long time ago, but Elizio Zaleski Dos Santos killed Strickland with that kick. You know, at welterweight, I get it, but still, that wheel kick could work, and that should be, that's what Strickland should be worried about here, is that wheel kick spinning over the top. I just don't think Strickland's going to... I think Strickland's going to see it coming, man. I just don't see him getting KO'd by that. Um, and Whitaker couldn't kick. Whitaker got wobbled. He, he didn't get knocked out or dropped, even. So, I'm going to go for Sean Strickland. Piecing up Costa. Losing round one. Winning round two. Win round three. Win round four. Dominate round five. 49-45. Strickland doesn't get a finish, but he beats the fuck out of Costa in the later rounds. So I'll go 49-45. Sean Strickland gets the decision win. And then should get a title shot again. He legit beat Izzy. Arguably beat Drickus. Like, how do you not get this guy a title shot? If not, do Strickland Cannoneer too, since Cannoneer has a win over him. Where he arguably won that as well. Like, UFC fucked, like the, UFC, the UFC fucked over Strickland a bunch of times. And they're like... Whoops, you lost to Kenanir though. Beat him and then we'll talk. Like, you fucked him over there, UFC, you bitch. Um, but yeah, you should get a title shot. The winner of Drake is it. But what are Chimaev? Oh, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. What are Chimaev though? I don't know what they do. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Because I can see if Izzy beats Drake, they're going to do Izzy Strickland just to try to get that off Izzy's record. And imagine... Strickland beats him again, which I think he could. I don't know if he would, but he could do it again. Um, but 
That would be crazy. And he's champ again. It would be insane if that happened. I got him winning. I got him winning against Paulo Costa, though. I can't wait for this fight. Five rounds, which I think benefits Strickland all the way. I think this is bad management from Paulo Costa. Should have taken three rounds. I think they would have. I think they could have won in three rounds. I don't think they would either. But I don't know. It'd be close in three rounds. Like I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why Costa's getting this fight. Like, he lost to Robert Whitaker, got his jump up after pulling out a bunch of fights. It just shows that the UFC likes Paul Costa a bunch. Because he lost number three in the world, Robert Whitaker. Now he's getting number one in the world, Sean Strickland. It makes no sense. Um, Strickland's got this in the bag, though. We move on. Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. Plus the memes, the press conference for Strickland Costa will be insane. Which is where... Marcus Poirier is going to be like, uh, I smiss you, brother. I smiss you, brother. I smiss you. Paid in full, baby. Like, the destiny to gold. The diamond, Dustin Poirier. Like, <laughs> sure comes going to be, it's just going to be like, secret juice, brother. Eh, man, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll fucking dominate you Saturday. I'm like, it's going to be more fun with Shrek and Costa at press conference. And uh, Max Poirier is just going to be paid in full, baby. I just miss you, brother. Anyways, Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler is official. Finally official. I'm so hyped for this fight. I can't wait. I can't wait for this fight. Um, uh, This is a close one, man. I'm going to go Michael Chandler, sadly. Conor McGregor has a really good shot at winning this fight. But I just don't see it, man. I don't see McGregor winning. It's at 170, which I think benefits Michael Chandler. I think he'll be more sized up here. And especially if he grapples here, he could do really well. But the thing is, will he grapple? I can't trust these guys to do anything. But he can. But he can't. Like, I don't understand like, Poirier fight, like, he had to be rocked to, like, shoot for a takedown. And he was looking good at the grappling against Poirier, but he's dumb. Poirier subbed him. I don't fucking know who wins, to be honest with you. I'll go Chandler, though. I know McGregor's, like, Chandler hasn't fought in so long, either. McGregor just hasn't fought longer. Like, so I'm going to go with, I'm going to have to go with, um, I'm going to have to go Michael Chandler. Too explosive on the feet. Could get KO'd. I just don't see it. I can see it, though. I'm going to lean Chandler for now. Getting this one done. I think he's going to put away, um, McGregor of ground and pound. I like McGregor. Just don't see him getting it done. Sadly enough, I just don't see it. So that means I'm going to go for McGregor. Getting this one done. Or Chandler getting it done. Chandler's going to get it done, in my opinion. Michael Chandler wins a TKO. Like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Great news broken by Dana White. Great news broken by Dana White. I hope they stack this card. I do hope they stack this card. We'll see what happens, So We'll see the comments. Um, Sugar Komen. I just don't see them playing O'Malley. I mean, they could, but that's a title fight. But they could honestly do that. O'Malley Marab is the co-main event. They could do that. They could pull that off. We'll see. Like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.